Mrima Hills, here's what's happening. So, Mrima Hills is a complex of uh, dense uh, forests in Lunga Lunga, which is in Kwale County. And uh, it's about 115 hectares. Now, back in uh, 2013, a company called Kotec Mining, and it could have belonged to Jacob Juma, ilinyimua a license ya cooperate hapo. Na hapo ndiyo story lianza. Walinyimua license kwa nini? Walinyimua license after could discover that kuna Niobia worth about 62 billion dollars. That's about 8 trillion Kenya shillings. But of late kumekuwa na renewed interest and here's why. In addition to a number of uh, private international mining companies expressing interest in exploring the area, the US government has also been keen in investing or rather exploring the area. Mark Dillard was then US envoy to Kenya visited the area in June and it is speculated that JD Vance could also visit the area uh, during his visit to Kenya. Why? Because the US has been keen on rare arts and uh, you know putting that at uh, the center of its diplomacy in Africa. You remember the deal that uh, Rwanda signed with Congo M23? Uh, the US got a deal of exploring the mineral deposits in Congo. And that's why people are quite interested in knowing what uh, their interests are in the UA, in uh, Mrima Hills. As a Kenyan, you need to understand the situation we are in right now. I don't know that you guys have seen this news about Mrima Hill. A lot of people are finding out about it right now, but this has been an ongoing situation for a minute. But right now, the reason why so many players are involved is because China wants a piece of us, Australia wants a piece of us, United States, the vice president is actually on his way here to have a meeting, right? So what is going on in Rima Hill? So this place has some rare earth minerals, right? And what these minerals basically do is, you know, produce steel, make smartphones, electric cars, etc. And just with the three things that I've mentioned, you need to be worried. Because they're estimating, like, these minerals in that hill to be worth $62 billion. And you, you know the leaders that we have. So the people living there are so scared because they know what might happen to them. They might be displaced, you know, and, this, and they're scared that they won't even get some of the mining rights that they should get off their land. You guys know that in the, in the United States, these people have destroyed states for far less. So let me tell you why you need to be concerned with what's happening in Sudan right now, with the amount of killings happening in Sudan by the RSF, yeah? First of all, you need to know that the reason why United Arab Emirates is funding the fights going on in Sudan by giving these RSF guys weapons is because Sudan has gold, okay? And a lot of farming land, okay? And guys, UAE, that's a desert, okay? Like 90% of their food, they have to import that. Then on top of that, you have to see how they, they need this gold. So what do they do in return? They make sure they are funding the RSF to get these people out so that they can get their minerals. Like, let me tell you, like, these people are heartless. And that's why in Kenya right now, seeing that we are the ones being talked about, think twice about what you say, how you're moving, and especially with the elections coming up. Like, listen, guys, if you've noticed, there's this disease of trying to spread tribalism. There's this disease of trying to make it, you know, like 2027, like a battlefield, like a war. And I'm telling you guys, we're the only ones who are going to be losing because it's not these leaders. They need you distracted. They need us not focusing on the right thing. They divided. Like I've been telling you guys since last year, like think about it. So many agencies and companies and all of that have been moving their headquarters to Kenya. Why? why like let's be so for real i've seen so much of that happening and i'm like guys y'all need to stop seeing it from a perspective of i don't know what perspective people are even looking at it from you need to sense danger like maybe come out to look at my kibaki and things like this are happening we do know we are safe okay we do know that this is for the development of our like it's for our, our own sake like to chasaidika but seeing the type of leaders that we have if our own leaders can find the need to help RSF guys to have war there. Let me tell you guys, you'd be a fool to believe that you need to hate another tribe. They want us fighting. They want 2027 going crazy. You know, like their plans are to have, let me tell you, a nation that is fighting 
is always going to be the elites and you know these people controlling who want to control like resources and all of that like that's always going to be what they benefit from let me tell you they are so loud about oh israel palestine hey, da, 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 da. why are they not so loud about sudan why are they not loud about congo why are you not seeing it in the media the way you need to be seeing it in the media these people let you see what they want you to see they let you fight for what they want you to fight for and they own these social media streams so they want you focused on some dumb nonsense when real life situation is happening and people are in, in trouble and it's because of them but since it's benefiting them right it's making them money right they don't want you talking because at the end of the day if you follow that trail it's benefiting all these elites it's not just the uae the players are way more than what we know do you think there's so much war in congo it's because of the minerals that are in congo they need these people fighting and while they are fighting they are stealing from them in the process and also because they know if you guys are in peace you guys can put your heads together and benefit from your minerals so as africans you need to know that anytime a different country you see it suffering like you need to take up that suffering as if it's your own and pray for them and intercede for them because we are the ones who carry the world we're the ones who have the minerals we're the ones who yani without africa the world is going to crumble let's not even lie the world is going to crumble and so what do they do they make us think like you know yani they let me let me just say they gaslight us sour to think that we need them when in fact they need us let me tell you i wish every african country would have a president like the Burkina faso country Ibrahim Traore, I don't want to butcher his name, but let me tell you, this man is the real MVP. Like, have you seen someone who is about his people? Do you know people sleep on the streets protecting their president from assassinations? They've tried to assassinate this person at times. I don't, they've tried to kill him. And I can assure you, it is the people from outside. It is these same elites who benefit from people fighting because they want our, res our resources, because they want us oppressed. Because they want and need to control us for them to continue living the way they live and for them to be high off the power that they're on. I'm challenging you today. Go and see the amount of yani, progress, the amount of growth that has happened in Burkina Faso. This man is amazing. This guy went out, I don't know whether it was in Russia, and you know how leaders are usually asked like what they want. He just said he wants his military to be trained. If it was another president, he'd be there. Oh, he wants money, he wants help, he wants what. This guy has done so much in Burkina Faso. Like, you guys need to go and see. Like, guys, he has looked at what Burkina Faso is good at and he has turned that into providing job opportunities and making sure, like, if they can produce something, they're not going to get it from out there. That's a real president right there. Like, tell me why we have leaders out here taking out loans that we don't even need. Loans that they don't even do what it is that they even took those loans for. Something that can probably use a certain small amount of money. These guys decide, nah, 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 nah. We are borrowing like a whole lot more. But then let me tell you, we need prayers because we need Jesus. We need the Lord. Let me tell you, this is not that time to start saying, let's remove God from the conversation. Because if you remove God from the conversation, let me tell you, all that is going to happen is us being oppressed, injustice, and a whole lot of other things. Like, things are getting crazier by the minute. Me, every day, I'm like, okay, I get that it's end times, but yo, things are rolling out fast. Like, every day, it's one thing after another. If our leaders were the right type of leaders, the amount of money, and I'll speak for my country alone, the amount of money that is in Kenya... We don't need to be having so many poor people. We don't need people having to sleep around with their bosses to maintain a job. The amount of job opportunities that are out here are insane. If people would just use the resources that we have the right type of way, if people would also be allowed to operate in a genuine type of way. Because in Kenya, for you to do anything, even your own business, for you to do it, CG, you have to pay who, CG, you have to pay who, you have to do what. That's why a lot of international companies have honestly closed down. You find a lot of them find it easy to lease. They find it easy to rent out everything because the amount of tax people are paying is mad. It does not even make sense. We pay crazy tax, by the way. It's not even fun. And you see, if that tax was being used the right type of way, that is one thing. You know how angry I usually get? Like, you go to a government office or you go to, a, like, all these public facilities that are supposed to be helping, like, the, the, the citizens. These guys never have network. Sijui, their machines are always down. 
you have to stay there to do for hours because of there's always something going on in those offices and i'm like dude the amount of money people are paying like at least you guys the least you can do is do the right thing because that money is too much you know it's actually sad like i'm just praying that people can have that type of holy anger where we go to god and cry to him like the israelites did and tell him like god we are done with these pharaohs you know we are done with these egyptians and we don't become like the Israelites and start complaining and nini. We just allow God to lead us into where he's leading us. Because me, I don't know about you, but me, I'm tired. Like, like Tutuna and Kasirisha. Everything at this point is just annoying me because too much is going on at the same time. And people are still here. Yani, what to do? Jokes, ignorance, talking about the wrong things. It's time people start thinking about some serious stuff because, guys, life is spiritual and life is so real right now. We all need to understand like our purpose. We all need to understand like where we're supposed to be, like doing the right type of thing at the right time with the right people, you know, in the right place type of situation. <sighs> Kenya's just discovered minerals worth seven trillion. Now population in Kenya ni kitu sixty sixty million. Wakigawa iodo equally, each Kenyan anapata around seven anapata around Seven trillion and about around 90, 97,000 Kenyan shillings. So, guys, kuna mineral in the Patikanoko coastal region, in Ashindadi, Nini, in Ashindadi Gold Lake. It's one of the rarest minerals. Jo, your mineral and it to me a kunda electric cars. So, it's not at any race to even an Yanakam Kenya, Deputy President to a US, the Vice President to a US, JD Vance. China still wants to come. Kila mtu anataka kuja sa hii Kenya. So hiyo do ruto kitu anafaa fanye. Jumiu advice gavas kuhizi. Anafaa toa tu auze hizo minerals na ape kila each Kenyan. 97,000 Kenyan shillings. Ju wame approximate wanasema hizo minerals zika worth, zika worth 7 trillion. So waki, waki divide watapea each Kenya 97,000 Kenyan shillings. Each Kenya 97,000 Kenyan shillings. Guys. We are going to be rich soon. Prezaki nisikia tu hivi. We are going to be rich soon.